Well, this is a little secondary video to the one I just made about my disappointment with Duncan. So, I'm going to show you here. On the bud, I paid Duncan $3,000 to rewire this bike. $3,000. So, when I first went to pick it up, they had the ignition wires too high and the dash was completely loose, which is simple fix, but it shouldn't happen. And his idiot kid had put the wires through the holes here for the spotlight, so it's not where they go. They go up here. It's called uh, read the manual. And they had to fix a wire that was sitting on the uh, exhaust here, this wire down there. And this is a dual exhaust that goes through here. It was just resting on it. So I had to redo that one. And Duncan told me, it's like, all these wires here are new, and underneath the whole fender's new. So I just showed you the worn sprocket. And I'm going, how could they possibly miss that when they had the whole rear end off? Well, now I know. They missed it because they didn't do what they said they did. Remember I told you on the last video, one of these bolts was loose. This is the new nut. This was completely not there and fallen off. Obviously to, to no lock washer. Here's the original green washer there. And that's the washer nut I just had to put on. And I get in here and uh, this is the same wiring job I got it with. So his brand new wires that he told me that they redid uh, was just him saying. See stuff like right here? Can you see that right there? That there is exposed wire. That's why this bike was supposed to be completely rewired. All this wire was supposed to be redone. 3,000 bucks I got charged. So he gives it to his idiot kid who says he did the work, who didn't do the work, and I get charged. So, free money train is now stopped, and uh, here we are. So, you know, I want to reiterate again, in my opinion, Duncan is the best mechanic that I've ever had the pleasure to work with. But just because someone is good doesn't mean that they actually do the work. And uh, as you can see, let's see if we can get a better shot of that, the wiring nightmare. Uh, Duncan didn't do the work. He just charged me for it and paid his kid $20 an hour as he charged me 85 bucks an hour for work that wasn't even done. These guys get greedy, they think they'll never find out. No one will ever know. And don't even realize that Todd can actually work on his own bikes. I tell him, but it goes in one ear and out the other. So, anyways, that's the bug. Here she is. And, uh, We'll get it going again. I just want to ride it for a while. And uh, after a period of time, after we get a bunch of these other bikes done, I'll rip her down to the bare frame and really treat her right. But uh, uh, I'm beyond upset. That is inexcusable. And that's why my bikes are no longer at Duncan's. And that's why I'm making these videos. Um, for my record, so I know I can look back. You guys watch, great. If you don't watch, great. Doesn't really matter. It's it's more for me. If you guys want to share my adventures, that's all good. But uh, you know, and a lot of the guys. So how can I get Duncan into it? My bikes. Well, just be aware. If you go to Duncan, this is a possible likelihood of what can happen to your bike. Is he a good mechanic? Yes, he is. Does he take shortcuts so he can make more money? Yes, he does. And that shortcut can bite you and him in the ass. Cost him his very best customer and a good friend. So we'll see you guys on the next video. And hopefully we'll have better news. Bye.